How you guys doing? One more time, it's uh, Valentine with Carabars International. I will be uh, showing you guys a quick uh, video here, and uh, it's called uh, the 17 Reasons to Owning Gold Bullion, and it's a very educational video. I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, I love this painting, by the way. It's an oil painting, very beautiful, and um, I would. Uh, you know, I just like to extend this time and, and 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 to you guys and say thank you very much for everything you guys do. You guys are always well appreciated, and also I would like to say the importance of owning gold. And there's this video that I'm going to share with you, talks about the 17 reasons why owning gold bullion is so important. All right, folks. So with that being said, I'm going to go straight to the video, cut this short, and uh, have a great day, guys. The top 17 reasons to buy gold. Number 17. Gold is the purest form of money. J.P. Morgan was once the most powerful banker in the world and he was quoted as saying, gold is money, everything else is credit. Once you truly understand this statement, you will be on your way to never being poor again and creating generational wealth. Gold has all of the characteristics of money. It must be durable, which is why we don't use corn. It must be divisible, which is why we don't use artwork. It must be convenient, which is why we don't use copper. It must be consistent, which is why we don't use real estate. It must possess value in itself, which is why we don't use paper. It must be limited in the quantity that is available, which is why we don't use iron. It should have a long history of acceptance, which is why we don't use Bitcoin. Gold is the purest form of money, even more so than silver, simply because it does not have many industrial uses. Number 16. Everything else is credit. Think about it. Literally every asset we are taught to invest in is simply a paper asset with counterparty risk. Stocks, bonds, munis, ETFs, derivatives, and insurance policies are just someone else's promises to pay. Even real estate and businesses are really only worth what the buyer can finance for it. For example, what would be the cash value of your house versus a market with 30-year rates at 4%? Number 15. All of the world's currencies have a fatal flaw. The dollar and all other currencies in the world are debt-based currencies that only come into existence when debt is created. When you sign a car loan for $20,000, the bank is not lending you $20,000. They are creating it out of thin air and it is backed by the contract you sign. The real scary thing is that if all of the money in the world comes into existence like this, where then do we get the money to pay the interest? Number 14. Generational Debt-Based Ponzi Scheme the only way this system functions is that more debt must be created every year in excess of the debt and interest created the year before. Every generation ends up paying for the debts the previous generation incurred. This has a fatal flaw as there always comes a point where the accumulated debts become so large that it becomes impossible to even pay the interest on the debt. Number 13. Inflation or deflation, it doesn't matter. Once any nation reaches the point where the accumulated debts become so large that they can no longer pay even the interest on the debt, then they have one of two fates. Nations like Ireland, Greece, and Spain that do not print their own currency suffer massive deflation as their real wealth is drained from them until they eventually default on the debt. Other nations like the United States and Japan that do print their own currencies eventually suffer hyperinflation where they continue to pay old debts with new money destroying the value of the currency itself by creating more and more of it. True hyperinflations are not as much as a monetary event as it is a psychological event where the population realizes that they are getting screwed by the bankers and politicians that create all of this money to line their pockets and it is causing the dollar to lose value. The population eventually starts buying anything with real value and literally throws the paper money away. In the end of either case of inflation or deflation, the currency and the entire economy built off of it is destroyed. Number 12. Gold cannot be printed. The finding, mining, and refining of gold is an incredibly difficult process. The bankers can create trillions of dollars out of thin air to pay off their buddies, but they cannot do that with gold. Why would you work for and store your wealth in a rigged casino that can change the rules and values at any minute? Number 11. Gold can be hidden. Unlike all of your paper assets, gold can be hidden for centuries if necessary. With governments increasingly looking to steal wealth from bank and retirement accounts, having an ounce of gold in your hand is a very powerful way of taking back your sovereignty. More importantly, it can be used to create generational wealth. Number 10. All paper money eventually returns to its intrinsic value. Zero. 
There have literally been thousands of paper currencies that have been created and destroyed throughout human history and they all suffer the same fate and become worthless. Even the dollar has become worthless. Since the foundation of the Federal Reserve in 1913, the dollar has lost 97% of its value. This has happened over the past 100 years, and it has defaulted on its promise to pay in silver in 1964 and promised to pay in gold back in 1971. Number 9. Gold is stored energy. Gold is really valued by the amount of energy that is put into the finding, mining, and refining of it. It is concentrated labor, energy, and luck. Given that we are coming close to the end of an era of relatively peaceful and abundantly cheap energy, it only makes sense to own gold knowing that resources are declining and life will get more expensive and dangerous. Number 8. Even enemies trust gold. Gold is universally recognized as real wealth. Even enemies can trade gold without having to worry about counterparty risk. You could go to any civilization around the world in the past, present, or future with a few ounces of gold and not even knowing the language you'd be able to buy everything you needed. You cannot say that about any of the paper currencies or assets most people own today. Number 7. The rest of the world wants gold. The world hates the American empire that has spread nothing but debt and death for the last few decades. They know that in order for our dollar to continue, the U.S. needs to protect the petrodollar trade, which backs the dollar as the world's reserve currency. The more that nations stop using the dollar to settle trade, the less demand the dollar has globally. This means that all of those dollars we export consuming the world's production will eventually come home and chase after fewer and fewer goods that we still have. Number 6. Gold is rare. If you took all of the gold in the world and put it into a cube, that block would only have 65 foot sides. Usually we are trying to find ways to visualize the trillions of dollars spent every year, but a 65 foot cube is pretty easy for a person to grasp. There is an estimated 155,000 tons of gold that has ever been mined throughout history. If it was equally divided amongst all of humanity, it would only work out to 0.7 ounces of gold for each man, woman, and child on earth. We know that it is not equally divided and that the majority of humanity will never touch gold. You need to have real wealth such as gold and silver to make the transition to the next monetary order. All of the debts will be wiped clean and gold and silver will act as the basis for a new economic order as it is universally accepted as money. What are you doing to prepare yourself and your family for that day? Number 4. The U.S. is a paper tiger. So much of the power we have is just remnants of a time when the U.S. was the number one energy and manufacturing power in the world. Those days are long gone. As we lose control over the Middle East, like the failed attempt to start a war with Syria and Iran, and even the fact that the U.S. has no diplomatic ties with Saudi Arabia right now means we are on the verge of losing the petrodollar. We don't even produce anything more than donuts, because all of our corporations have sent their manufacturing capacity to Asia. Now we are consuming the last little bit of credit we have with the rest of the world as we amuse ourselves to death. Number 3. Hard days are coming. It will not be long until those that create the energy and manufactured goods demand real wealth in return for their real assets. When that day comes, if you do not have real wealth, you simply will have nothing to offer other than your labor. The scary thing is that most Americans do not have any real friends because of Facebook and no real skills because 70% of the economy is based on consumerism. This will lead to most Americans fighting for survival as all of their paper wealth and economy collapses. Having an ounce of gold or silver is a buffer for you and your family from a very harsh reality that is coming. Number 2. China and India are the past and future. Prior to the European colonization of the world, China and India combined for half of the world's economic output. Only after the British colonized India and fought a 20-year opium war with China did that trend change and poverty hit those nations. Now, these nations, and many more like Russia, Iran, Indonesia, and South Africa, are wise to see the tricks of the Anglo-American empire and are buying gold to protect themselves from outsiders interfering with their prosperity. Most Americans are not paying attention to the massive changes that are happening in the world today, but the world is moving away from the U.S. and their dollar like a meth head in the park. China has signed 15 bilateral trade deals with major nations like Japan, Russia, and Australia to dump the dollar in bilateral trade. Russia is about to sign a holy grail deal with China to have the world's largest energy producer power the world's largest manufacturing power in the world without dollars. China, Russia, and India are buying massive amounts of gold to back their economies and help with the transition to a new monetary order. The world, in short, is building another world without us, and the U.S. will find themselves on the outside looking in.
Number 1. Gold is made from collapsed stars. Throw out all of the historical, monetary, and geopolitical reasons for owning gold. The very fact that gold is made from exploding stars is simply amazing. When you hold an ounce of beautiful gold and feel its weight and luster, you will also feel how amazing it is to own something that can only be created by the incredible power of exploding supernovas fusing elements together into creating the very dense and heavy metal known as gold. This gold is not from Earth and is something truly spectacular to own in of itself.